Luckily, during my Japanese learning journey, I had the opportunity to talk to one of my future Japanese teachers. I wanted to say, Sumimasen kincho desu, which means, sorry, I'm nervous. I said, Sumimasen chinko desu, which means, well, sorry, I'm a penis. When I was living in Germany, I tended to confuse the words Gesundheit and Etzoldergang, so I kept apologising every time someone sneezed around me. I wanted to explain to my girlfriend's father what we were doing with a small bookshelf Malapolisa in our apartment. I instead spent a good few minutes telling him how I'm planning on adjusting a little policeman. Thought it would be cool to propose to my wife in her native language, Indonesian. I asked her if she'd like to marry herself. Told a cabbie in Beijing I like his big chest hair. Told her say I like pandas. In Hebrew, asked a Tel Avivi wait Afo Hashadayim instead of Afo Hashiru team. Instead of where is the bathroom, where are the boobs? I learned Japanese. Cut to me talking with my mechanic. What I thought I said, I'm not very knowledgeable about cars. What I actually said, I'm not really aware of cars as a concept. I was trying to sell a whisk to a French couple. Well, I mean, as you do, we we've all been there. Instead of saying great for eggs, I said great for eyes. For many years in German cafes, on the rare occasion when I wanted a short latte, I used to say, Ich bekomme eine kleine latte. Little did I know, to Germans, I apparently said, I'm getting a small erection. Yeah, Korean word for strawberry and erection is similar. My buddy asked an old lady for a boner cake, wishing a bunch of Italians a happy anus on New Year's. Year's Eve. Should I cut your fringe? No, no, I'm not from here. High school Japanese. I want to say to my teacher, Ame ga It's raining. I instead said, Ame ga Bitches are falling. I tried using a word in Hebrew that I had learned meant something like uh, to make a mess of things. I said it while having dinner at someone's house and the hostess gasped. Apparently, I just announced that I'd shat myself. At a Japanese restaurant, ordered up a big bowl of grandma. I said giant breasts instead of dinosaur in front of my class of 30 12 years olds. Which favourite type of food? I really like shit food. When working at an elementary school in China, at lunch, all spoken in Mandarin, which I'd been studying for all of 18 months, me, where am I cousy? Thinking cousy meant chopsticks. Quasi is chopsticks. Cousy is pants. Nine-year-old. What? My pants? You, you have some on? What? No, no. I need pants to eat. Look, you have pants. I want some pants. I have no pants. What? Instead of asking someone I was walking with if they needed to take a breather, I asked them if they would like to breathe at all. While learning to count out loud in Swahili, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, vagina. I walked into the police station, Japan, and said, I stole a bicycle, instead of my bicycle was stolen. In ASL, the signs for early and nude are fairly similar. I came to a 5.30 class one day at five and signed to my instructor, I is it okay for me to be nude? Will it, ah, uh, will it bother you? My mum tried to sign, I'm his mother, and ended up saying, I'm his bitch, instead, in a church. In Spain, the word coger means to take, but in Latin America, it means, uh, I asked a waiter if I could fuck my food out in the patio. My toiletries were stolen out of a bathroom in a hostel in Argentina. I was telling sympathetic listeners of my loss. Mi han robado mi yamon. They took my ham. My friend and I were abroad in Japan and he was spacing out and crashed into this poor old woman. Now I've read this story, I think by crash they mean bumped into walking on the street, not hit by a car by the way. He apologised to her in Japanese, I don't speak it, but she looked very confused and walked off. After she did, he turned to me and told me that he had actually said, by mistake, thank you for that delicious meal. Every Russian learner has the fear of mixing up napisat to write with napisat to pee rare reddit scholar margin. I accidentally told a guy to piss on his contract. The salmon shison berating someone. The salmon shison taking a shit together. A single space really makes that much of a difference. Wow. And just in case we were under some illusions that I thought my native language was infallible, well, in English, you can help your Uncle Jack off a horse or help your Uncle Jack off a horse. And a single capital letter makes a really big difference.